All right, well, while I'm doing some hiking today, I figure I uh, go over a few things about myself because I'm sure some people don't know about me. So I've always been very passionate about what in the world is this? <laughs> Sorry, is that fireworks? I think those might be fireworks. That's such a random spot. Could have at least picked up your trash afterwards. That's ridiculous. Please always pack in and pack out. It wouldn't have been that hard to take that trash out. Anyways, so I've always been very passionate about the outdoors with hiking, mountain climbing. Um off-roading <laughs> my jeep is definitely an addiction to me so about three years ago I had a couple of things that really um, kind of changed my life a little bit and I think I'm gonna stop for a second because <laughs> it was a little uphill just a minute ago so I'm a little out of breath so anyways, about three years ago, um, I used to take care of my father and um, he used to live with me and my father had like early stages of dementia. Um, he had the early stages of it. It wasn't like full force. But one night when I came home from work, my uh, father shot and killed himself in front of me. So of course that was a, uh, was a really hard thing it still is a hard thing to deal with I've always been pretty open about my life and I've always shared my life on social media and with other people and uh, with everything that I've gone through I've always wanted to kind of hope that I could help others in some way of what I've been through and maybe I could help others on if they go through hard times and stuff like that also so when the thing happened with my dad, um, you know, I kind of, it hit me hard for a minute. Sorry, I'm putting my water down, water and key down. Got to switch hands. So it kind of hit me hard for a minute. Well, actually for a very long time. But afterwards I lost two of my dear friends, um, all within just a couple of months also, and I was still dealing with my dad's situation. So that just, it was just really hard, hard time. Um, so over the last couple of years, I've just kind of kept myself busy with my job, working and um, trying to go hiking a lot or um, just getting out. And um, never really fully came to terms or tried to deal with everything that happened. But uh, about eight months ago, I uh, was watching some YouTube videos. I also met this girl on the road who, who was traveling and living out of her Toyota 4Runner. And the reason why she started her traveling was because uh, her brother um, committed suicide and it was a murder-suicide with his, him and his wife. And I met her on the road when I was in Sedona. Uh, out there for a Jeep event and after meeting her and hearing her story I kind of felt like that was a sign maybe and I was like well you know I'm passionate about the outdoors I love the outdoors so gotta figure out if I can do something like that also mind you I sorry mind you I gave up my job that I had of 10 years which was pretty hard to do but for about seven months, I, I really planned everything out and did a lot of research and everything. And obviously, no, my savings account isn't going to work the whole entire time, you know, that I'm traveling. So I plan on working, which I'm doing right now. I'm out by Death Valley doing a winter seasonal job. So the first few months that I 
quit my job and left Vegas and just started traveling. I went full fledged just traveling through a whole bunch of states and actually went to South Dakota and North Dakota as two of the states and I have to say South Dakota was uh, very spiritual and uh, I think it was the first time that I actually had time to sit down and uh, process what happened with my dad and also um, actually did a spiritual hike out there and sat down on top of a mountain and actually talked to him for the very first time. So what I'm doing right now has definitely helped me out a little bit. Um, not into going to see a counselor. I tried to go to group counseling and stuff like that, but that's just not my type of thing. And I just feel like Mother Nature is just so soothing and peaceful and this is the way I'm dealing with everything and it's it's actually been helping. I've this time of the year right here around the holidays, I'm I'm a hot mess during the holidays. Uh cuz you know, I don't have my dad to spend them with anymore and don't have any family around, so um but this year I'm just like with me being in my element at that it's actually put me in a state of peace peace of mind which is kind of crazy but uh every way everybody has their own ways of dealing with stuff and this is my way of dealing with it and i think it's definitely doing me a lot of good i mean look at how peaceful all this is So that's my story, kind of, sort of. I'll talk more about the rest of my story in some more videos. But just kind of wanted to let you guys know why I started this journey, why I'm doing what I'm doing. And, uh, yeah, appreciate your support. And uh, keep watching the videos. Thank you.